off Sunday mornings because both their parents cook pancakes for the family. Look at mom and dad flipping the pancakes. It seems like they have made quite some pancakes. So they are asking Sam and Zoe, How, how many, many total, total pancakes, pancakes have we made till now? Zoe says, I will count the pancakes made by mom. One, two, three. Three pancakes. Sam says, I will count the pancakes made by dad. One, two, three, four. Four pancakes. But but how, how do, do we, we find, find out, out the, the total, total number, number of pancakes? pancakes? Sam and Zoe, you can get the total number of pancakes by bringing them together and counting them together. So now we have brought the pancakes together. Zoe, would you like to count them? Sure, Miss R. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven pancakes. That's right. And children, do you know, when we bring together and count together different number of objects, we call that addition. Oh, so that is what addition means. Yes, and in math, addition of numbers can be represented using symbols. For example, to show addition of three pancakes and four pancakes, we can use this symbol, which we call plus. And after that, we place this symbol, which we call equals or equal to, after which we write the answer. The answer of addition is also called sum. Okay, so we can also read it as 3 pancakes plus 4 pancakes equals 7 pancakes. Yes, you can. So let's see addition of some more numbers. Sam, can you read this? Six plus three. But six what? It doesn't say. Yes, if you are given only numbers to add, you can imagine the numbers to be the quantity of any object that you want. So could it be pencils? Of course. Six pencils and three pencils. Could it be candies? Why not? Six candies plus three candies. Well, how about we use stars? If that is what you want. So six stars plus three stars. Now what will that be equal to? To do the additions, we will have to bring them together. Correct. And then count them together. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, six stars plus three stars is equal to nine stars. So, that would mean that six plus three is equal to nine. Very good, Sam and Zoe. Let's try another one. Eight plus five. Can we do pencils this time? Sure. So, eight pencils plus five pencils. And let's bring them together and count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So eight pencils plus five pencils is equal to thirteen pencils. Or we can say that eight plus five equals thirteen. That's correct. And another one. 4 plus 4. Now what would that be equal to? Can we do sheep this time? Definitely. So we need to calculate 4 sheep plus 4 sheep. So let's bring them together and count them together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 4 sheep plus 4 sheep equals 8 sheep. Or 4 plus 4 equals 8. Excellent, children. You have surely understood addition well. But, Miss R, I have a question. If we have to bring together and count together big numbers, that is not going to be very easy to do. You are absolutely right, Sam. So we have 
many different techniques for doing addition. Some of the techniques work very well for small numbers and some work very well for big numbers. Some of the techniques require using pencil and paper, while others just require you to use your mind. And don't worry, we will be learning many of these techniques in the next few classes. Oh, that's awesome. I'm really going to be looking forward to that. Please like, share and subscribe.